It's coming up. The April 8th eclipse is a once in a lifetime experience. I feel like it's time that we can we can actually get excited now. I agree. Like it's right around the yep. corner now. Scientists want to make sure everyone can enjoy this. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen is here. So Eric, what, what are they doing to make sure that this is all inclusive? It's really cool. It's really cool stuff they're taking. So this eclipse is the last one we're going to experience in North America until 2044. So making sure everyone can experience this one was very important for a team of scientists at Harvard. And they needed the help of some kind Central Texans to make it happen. It's important that we uh, make sure that these eclipses are accessible to, to everyone. In 2017, a team of Harvard astronomers hoped to solve this problem. Hearing uh, people's reaction and communities that, that felt uh, not included or thought about after the fact, um, it's just devastating. After listening to members of the visually impaired community, the team came up with this. <laughs> The light sound project. The bright bright sunlight will be kind of like a flute sound, then it goes to like a mid-range clarinet, and then it goes to like a low clicking sound. The device uses a light sensor and MIDI soundboard and a little light soldering to assemble. Back in 2017, we only had three devices. It was kind of like our prototype that we got sent out, and it, it worked, and we were happy with it. Ahead of this spring's eclipse, the Light Sound Project has traveled the country, hoping to assemble more devices for the visually impaired. They're going to be able to experience the eclipse just like we do. In January, volunteers at the University of Texas helped put together dozens of these devices. Being able to assist those who may not have the same type of visual capabilities that we do is really special. The Light Sound Project hopes to build more than 700 devices each of which will be given away for free just in time for the April eclipse. To hear that this is having some small impact in that way is just uh, phenomenal and it keeps us going. Pretty cool, right? Lights Very Out Project cool. plans to uh, expand overseas for the next eclipse. They'll occur in Greenland and Southern Europe in 2026. I got a message from Harvard this morning, like super, super early. I was yeah. like, why are y'all up so late? Uh, they finished 150 of the devices while they were here at UT. Wow. They have had 400 done already. But they need to, they're aiming for around the 700s to produce enough of these to come out to free for people who need them during the eclipse. I, I think it's such a beautiful and emotional story you right. know, when, you, when you hear about it. And we have such a huge community of the visually impaired right. here yeah. in Austin, too. Is that why they came over here, you think? They came here because that was one reason. Okay. They also mentioned because we're in the major in the path of the eclipse. Mm -hmm. University of Texas offers a lot of great opportunities for these kind of events. They're, they're really stepping up for the eclipse. and they. They have the tools for soldering. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, we had, they had a wide reason. They also went to San Antonio and did some there. So. I love that you are all eclipse all the time. Mm -hmm. Not all the time. Well, it feels, like it. it feels like it. It feels like it sometimes.